Good morning, everybody. Uh, for those of you who don't know me, my name is David Nichols, and I'm part of the finance team here at St Mildred's. Uh, as I'm sure you're aware, the organ project uh, has now been completed in terms of physical works. Uh, and in fact, our contract with Nicholson's, the organ builders, finished last Friday. Uh, and I'm sure you'll agree it's sounding absolutely magnificent. We haven't heard that much of it this morning, but uh, it's sounding magnificent and will be used to lead the worship here for decades and decades to come. Uh, the head voice that has made a video, which is on YouTube, um, demonstrating certain parts of the organ and some of the, some of the stops, uh, we hope to share a link with that shortly, uh, but he has said that this is one of the finest organs that he's ever played, and he's played a lot of them, so uh, we, we're truly fortunate to have such an instrument here at St Milch's to help lead our worship. Uh, we felt this was quite an appropriate time to update you on where we are in terms of fundraising for the project uh, and our plans moving forwards from now, and I promise not to keep you longer than seven minutes. And if you have any questions, I will be around um, afterwards, so please come and ask me and I will do my best to answer them. Uh, so first, to the current situation, if we could have the next slide. Perfect. Uh, so the final bill for the project has come in at around £425,000 in total. Um, and it's our aim to make the project completely self-financing. So we don't want to dip into church reserves at all uh, as part of this project. To date, the amount raised is £308,000, so we're about three quarters of the way there. Um, and the pie chart shows where this has come from. Uh, the biggest chunk has come from personal donations and the gift aid on those, which has come in at £183,000. And so many thanks to everybody who has already given so generously. We've applied to a number of trusts and grant giving bodies, and that has raised 47,500 pounds. As you might be aware, as part of the project, the church has become listed, and that has allowed us to claim tax back of 42,000 pounds. Uh, fundraising activities, including the Christmas markets and other activities have raised 16,500 pounds, and the adopters Dr. Pipe's scheme to date has raised £19,000. And again, a big thank you to everybody who has either adopted a pipe or been involved in the fundraising activities. However, there is still an amount to raise of £117,000, shown as the grey segment on the pie chart. That sounds like a lot of money, and of course it is, uh, but the good news is that we have a plan of how we're going to get there. In terms of timescales, we're not going to be fundraising forever for this project. Uh, we have some events planned later this year and into next year. But we are fortunate to have had some interest-free loans to cover most of the outstanding amount for a period of up to five years. But after that, they need to be back. So we're working to a timescale of five years to get remaining money in. So let me quickly run through the plan we could have the next slide please. So the PCC has appointed a professional fundraising company to identify potential trusts and fund, fund giving bodies. They will be applying to the top 20 prospects of those and we ourselves will be applying for some of the others and the estimated income from this is £60,000. Uh, as Griselda said, we have the Olivier Lattery recital on the 16th of November. That's budgeted to make £5,000. Uh, and if you haven't bought your tickets yet, then I urge you to do so soon as they are selling out fast. We have a recital by Roger Sayer next year, another world-class organist, an old friend of St Mildred's. Uh, and we have the ongoing monthly recitals after Even Songs, which over our five-year window should bring in around £5,000. We'll be having another concert from the band of the Royal British Legion, which should bring in another £1,000. Uh, we feel there's still some mileage left in the adopter pipe scheme, and money is in fact still coming in for this. And we know that there's people who are intending to adopt a pipe who haven't got round to it yet. So uh, if it's on your to-do list, I would ask you please to, to crack on and do it. 
Um, we're also currently marketing the scheme to the wider community and we feel it has the potential to bring in uh, around another £10,000. In, uh, in the autumn, there'll be an auction of promises. Uh, and if you haven't been to one of these before, they're a great night. Uh, basically, they're an auction, but rather than having lots of the physical items, they're promises. So, for example, you may offer to give somebody a lift to the airport, do two hours gardening, throw a dinner party, host a day out. Uh, possibilities are endless, really. Uh, you may want to start thinking about what you might be able to offer. They're a great night, uh, and from previous experience, this should raise around £5,000. We're also planning a ball for December next year. Uh, the congregation are welcome to attend that, but really it's uh, aimed more at the corporate world and particularly for company Christmas dinners. Uh, and this is also in the budget to raise £5,000. Uh, one thing that isn't on the list that will be happening in the new year is that we will be making an attempt at a Guinness World Record, or rather Richard will be making an attempt at a Guinness World Record. Uh, we're still fleshing out the details about exactly how it's going to work, but there'll be opportunities for everybody to get involved uh, and support the attempt, and it should be a great event. Uh, and finally, we come to personal donations, which we will need £25,000 to meet our budget. Uh, we appreciate that many of you have uh, been very generous already, but we are asking you today if you could consider uh, if you are in a position to either make a one-off donation or set up a standing order for up to five years. £25,000 sounds like a lot of money. Uh, it is, of course. But to put it in, into context, if 20 people set up a standing order of £20 per month for five years, then with a big, bit of gift aid, then we've met the target. So please consider carefully and prayerfully if you are able to help. We'll be giving out some forms at the end of the service, giving details on, on how you can give. I'd just like to end by saying that I've been involved with uh, fundraising for a number of different projects here at St Mildred's, and I am absolutely confident that we can meet this challenge. So please, let's work together and get this project over the line. Thank you very much for listening.